Thousands of animals have been saved by Vancouver Island rescue groups over the last year. Before they can be adopted out, though, most need to go to foster homes. But there's a desperate shortage of fosters right now. And a Victoria couple that's taken in more than 100 animals is hoping their story will inspire others. Here's Tess Van Stratton with this week's Vital People. Come on, Mama. Good girl. Who's this? These adorable little puppies were only born two weeks ago. That was a first for us, uh, so it was pretty stressful. Um, we spent a lot of time on YouTube watching puppy birthing videos, and it kind of felt like becoming a parent again. What are you crying? John and Alex Elliott have been fostering animals in need for the last seven years. It's busy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Uh, a lot of cleanup and, and sleepless nights, but um, it's been a lot of fun. They've looked after more than a hundred dogs, cats, puppies, and kittens over the years. How many pets in the house do you have right now? Nineteen. <laughs> Sounds bad. Five are their own. And they are all foster failures, which just means that you're supposed to let them get adopted out, and then you forget that part and you keep them. The rest, like this mama cat and her wee kittens, are being fostered for the Victoria Humane Society. They've made such an amazing difference. The problem that people don't really understand is if we don't have people like Alex and John stepping up, we can't take these animals in. So these animals would die. There's nowhere for them to go. Rosie, pregnant with her pups and chained up outside, was going to be killed if the Victoria Humane Society didn't take her. It's amazing, actually, to see where she's come from versus where uh, she started. It was, it's been pretty amazing. She won't go upstairs, she won't go down hallways, wouldn't get into cars, and now she doesn't even think about it twice. So it's rewarding to see, I feel like, the adults more because they grow more. A lot of the times they come in with uh, very little personality and then just over time as they gain your trust, uh, it really evolves, which is, is pretty rewarding. For Alex, the most rewarding part of fostering is the lessons it's teaching their young son. It does create a lot of empathy and understanding of different situations, so that's been really fun to watch his development. And kitten cuddles and puppy playtime's also a big perk. If you're having a bad day, you can go in and just kind of lay down and get all the, the puppy crawling all over you and, and licking your face. With more animals being rescued than ever before, John and Alex hope their story will inspire others to foster for one of the many rescues on Vancouver Island. We need more people who will take on even one or two a year. It just makes such a difference. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.